Hey everybody, 47 Mark Four here with FTB's Pyramid Reborn map. So I saw that this map came out and it looked like an awful lot of fun to play. So I figured, hey, let's add it into the mix. This is a Skyblock kind of quest pack. It's, uh, it's different and that's what I like about it. So we're going to go start on our Skyblock and we're going to have to make things and turn them in uh, to be able to make progression and crafting and resource generation and everything else is different. This is a 1.12 map and we are running version 1.00. Now for transparency, I have edited the map. Uh, so because it's just me and I was running basically four times the amount of computer craft and that's what the maps powered off from, you know, block lag was kind of a thing. So I have voided the other three islands. So guess what? We're going to be team green. Let's jump right into it. Press G, join a team. All right. So here we are at our island over on team green. We've got ourselves a chest. It's got a clay axe, some cursed earth, a resource generator, sapling, water bucket, bone meal, clay, and dirt. And, you know, it's going to be a typical sky block start, I think, here. Oh, yeah. Let's set spawn. And, you know, this is FTB Utilities, uh, so let's do this. Let's set home. This might be a pack that I TP in. I don't know. I'm not really big on teleporting. All right, so let's go ahead and get our uh, normal Skyblock start. There we go. I got a sapling. All right, where was that axe? Let's go ahead and get this guy coming down. I got my one sapling. I don't care about the rest. Well, I mean, I do care, but... Let's go ahead and do this. Here's my crafting table. And I guess I'll put that uh, right there. Can I make sticks? Yes, I can. All right, and planks. Yep, because what I'd like to start with is a... Uh, can I make a sickle? Yes, I can. All right, so we'll start with a sickle because that will make this whole job... Oh, oh, extra sapling. A lot easier to take these trees down. All right, so I guess at this point, it's going to be the same thing, right? Let's put this guy down. Let's bone meal him up. See if we can get ourselves uh, some more saplings. And then we're going to have to expand the platform. And hopefully not fall off. All right, got four. That's good. Oh, oh, oh I saw you. All right, got five. All right, so let's grab a little bit of this wood. Yep. Oh. She's still a little twitchy, but, you know, I think it'll smooth out in time. All right, so I'm going to grab this. We'll turn everything into planks. I'll turn planks into slabs. I think that's probably the best plan at the moment. Yeah. All right, and let's go ahead and start expanding the area. Right here. And, oh, you know, is a top slab a thing? No, apparently it's not. Okay. All right, so I don't like living on slabs, but we don't have torches yet. And I'm going to guess I'm outside of the range of the mega torch that's on top of the pyramid. That would just sound about right, you know? All right, so here we go. I'm going to just platform it up just a little bit, because the chance that I fall off this thing is about 100%. And, you know, speaking of that, I probably ought to not carry my good stuff with me. All right, so let's just put everybody safety saplings, right? Got to remember all of our skyblock skills. So at this point, I'm going to chop down a bunch of trees and, you know, see if I can expand the platform a little bit more, and then we'll start into a quest. Spent a little while doing the trees, and we ended up getting ourselves, uh, you know, a stack and a half of wood. Uh, it's something to start with, right? So let's take a look at the guidebook. Right? This thing's been flashing at me. It's wanting me to do stuff. So the guidebook's telling you about resource generation, that there's a magic block that you put an item frame onto, feed it energy, and put a thing in the item frame, and it will produce that resource for you. That's how resource generation's going to work. And then it tells you about the Seebeck generator, which you put next to a furnace, and the furnace then gives it power, uh, or makes power. The powered crafting table is how you do some crafting. This is a new crafting mechanic. 
And then it's talking about getting started. So it was uh, saplings and bone meal for the trees. And there's a nether portal underneath the base. Find a way to travel to the portal and get back again. You may get some helpful items. All right, so that is a good idea. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go and take a look, see if we can see this thing. All right. Uh, let me just get all the way on the slabs here. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's that right there. All right, I know exactly how we're going to get down there. All right, where is the water bucket? So let's just throw the bucket in there. And can I see... Well, I can't really see it that well on how my water bucket aim is. All right, let's... Uh, oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so it's right in front of the portal. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's take a little bit of this wood here. Just like that. We'll make some planks. And I'm leaving everything else behind because, you know, I'm going to die and lose it. All right, so, yeah, Geronimo. So I'm hoping we can ride the water stream down and, you know, right in front of this portal, uh, go ahead and set some blocks. This is bedrock. All right, good to know. Probably would have recognized it as bedrock anyways, but I'm assuming that's trying to tell me something. Ooh, we got stuff down here. Ah, this is probably from me breaking the world. Oh, no. That's ink sacks. Cool. All right, so right there. Nailed it. All right. Let's give ourselves a tiny little platform here. Yeah, you must be an end portal. I'm going to guess you're the end portal. All right, so right there. This way, if I pop out on the other side of the portal, I don't just fall into the void. Oop. Uh, Hey, let's get some, uh... Come on, give me, the, give me those ink sacks. All right. I mean, hey, they're right there. All right, we are in the nether. All right. Not a lot of stuff to, uh, to look at here. All right, there's a pyramid over there. Yeah, there's a pyramid over here. And looks like all the teams are walled off from it. All right, and there was a thing over here. The last gift. All right, nether portal. All right, well, we'll take the last gift. I'll take your sign. All right, and a sand block, which means something. Yeah, I see ya. All right, let's see if we can get this piece of sand here. Yeah, got it. All right, so inside the chest. First earth, the pick. Ah, the sea back generator. Pasture seed, clay shovel, birch sapling, and lava bucket. All right, cool. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, so now all we got to do is climb up the water stream and, you know, back home we are. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, all right. Whew. Ah, oh, man, I moved the mouse just at the wrong moment. Ah. That was uh, not fun. All right. <sighs> okay, my heart's beating because I got all this really good stuff on me. We cannot afford to derp out and die. I need to get all this stuff chucked in a chest. All right, come on. I mean, we're in a good spot, right? Heads out of the water. We're breathing. All we got to do is just make it through that hole. So that gives me a water bucket and a lava bucket, which means we're going to make a cobble chat. All right. I mean, I want a cobble gen anyways, because, hey, I want cobble. Yeah, and you know what? There's cobble right there at the platform. We ought to steal all that cobble, too. Oh, you know what? I, I, got even, I have an even better idea. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, yeah, let's be safe first. Let's be safe. Put all the good stuff in the chest. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's ride this water stream back down again and do a little bit of this action, right? So can I, can I ride it back up and put a block right there? Is there any chance that I can do this without dying? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got it, I got it, I got it. 
Okay. All right, so then all I've got to do is move that thing. All right, cool. All right, so I'm just going to throw these couple of guys down. I'll, uh... Yeah, okay. This is harder than it looks. I'm telling you, I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. I just want to remove this block. Okay, we'll let that one go. Oh, no, 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 no. Get in the water stream. Ah, fell out of the world. All right. Ah, we landed back on the platform. Okay. Eh, you know, lost some planks, whatever. All right, my water skills, no bueno. Pick up the water bucket. And I should be able to put it back down now. And it should go straight. Yeah, I think it went straight. Okay. So put that back in there. Let's grab some more uh, planks. Right? And actually, I probably want slabs. And we'll head back down the water stream with pro pro skills. Right? Right here. Okay. All right. So now we can do this. Now I'm going to make a small platform under here. Yeah, I'm going to make a small platform under here. And I'll just knock out all of this stuff right here. Right? And that way I can uh, get that cobblestone. And, you know, I've got myself a water elevator. All right, so we've got our stuff down there. So I'm going to bring my bucket and my pickaxe. Yeah, I don't feel good about this at all. All right. And a little bit of plankage. Right, right here. All right, so we're going to come down here. And can I reach that water source? Yes, I can. All right, so for right now, I'm just going to block up the hole. All right, so I want to see if I can pick up this cobblestone and catch as much of it as possible. Because I really don't need it right there. But I could use it for other things. Right, so here we go. Let's just take it all out. Catch what we can. Oh, don't fall into the void. Yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll slab this in, but I've actually got other plans for that area right now. You know, kind of going through my needs, right? All right, so here we go. We got all of this stuff. Got all the cobble. Right? Okay. So let's take this guy back out. Right? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hold on. Uh, no, for safety, let's put that back in. Right, so that was my water source block. So I'm going to need a couple of slabs. Right, uh, yeah, just those will do. Right, so we'll do something like that. Okay, all right. So then I can get rid of these. Cool. Right, make my hole again. And I'm actually going to want this guy too. I don't need to leave a spawnable block down here. All right, come on. Get a little bit of block lag, but, you know, it's all right. All right, got that. Okay, so be careful of the hole. Can I jump shot the water back in there? I can. Ride it back up. All right. Let's get our cobblestone. Pick this guy up, and we'll fix. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix it with dirt. I'm going to fix it with dirt. So let's, uh, yeah, let's fill this in, I guess. I don't know. Let's see how much dirt this leaves me. So it leaves me five. All right. So one, two, three. Uh, you know, that'll be all right for right now. That'll be okay. So everybody else is going to be slabs. All right. Can I get slabs under here? Just need a little bit more. All right. Right here. Uh, yep. Nope. That'll work. Okay. So slab, slab, slab. Right? Oh, and there's one under there. Okay, um... Yeah, alright. Here's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and make a bunch more. We'll make a chest. Right? We'll take the chest off from our area and just stick it over here. I'm gonna dump all that stuff in there. Let's do a quick chest transfer. Right? So all you guys are in here nice and safe. Alright, and let's move this guy out the way and I need that pickaxe again let's see pickaxe oh. and you know at this point in the game 
I'm totally going to go chase that one piece of cobblestone. Going to chase it. Okay, right down here, get my cobble. Thank you. All right, so now we've got enough stuff to be able to make a cobble gen. Right, so let's go ahead and get that done. I just want one more piece of dirt here. Go ahead and start grassing over. All right, so if we've got enough stuff to make a cobble gen, let me take this, and I'm going to make a bunch of crafting tables. Um, I don't know, a dozen maybe? Just rough numbers? Yeah, and I can keep seeing this one. It must have been a ghost block before. All right, there we go. One more piece of wood. All right, so let's make ourselves a quick uh, cobble gen. And I guess I'll hang it off the side of the platform, maybe? Do, do slabs burn? Do slabs burn? I don't think slabs burn. All right, so I'm going to want... Let me just uh, think this out here. I'm going to want the water to flow down a block. Right, so I'm going to need a base for it. Yep. And I'll come up like that. Yeah, and then right here. Okay. So just designing on the fly here. So if I put the water, let's say, in this block, it's going to flow down right here. And this block is going to be where I'm going to use one piece of cobblestone. Right? This block is where everybody meets. Uh, right there. Okay. So then that closes in. No, it's got to go one over. It has to go one over. All right. Let's get a pickaxe. I can't tell you last time I actually made a real cobble gen. Right from here down. So you're going to come out. You're going to be a real block. You're going to be the cobblestone. Uh, do I have... Yeah, where's that axe? All right. Just put everybody away. So then I'm going to want to make sure that the water can't escape. Right? It's got to go that way. And then all I've got to do is surround that guy. Yeah, I just have to move that one other block. I need a little bit more. I need just a couple more. And this is super temporary. I already have another idea on how to replace this cobble gen, but I think it's a trap, and I'll show you in a minute here. All right, so, yep, I just got to get... Yeah, I just got to get something under here. Right? How could I get something? I guess I could just do that. Right? So you're underneath there. And I just have to put one right there. All right. This should, this should work. And I'll take that one out and I will stick it right here. And that should be, I think it should be a cobble gen. Right? Lava right here meets the flowing water block. Flowing water block goes down right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's give it a try. I mean, worst case is I make a piece of obsidian and I have to go get my emergency stuff. So let's take this water and we'll put it right here. Ah, oh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Right, so you flow down. You're, ah, yeah, again, with the annoying. All right, you're right in there. And, yep, yeah, I'm going to put these guys together. We'll get our pick. And let's see what we got here. And as usual, okay, cobble gen works, and it throws cobble into the lava. That's perfect. All right, I finally got a piece. All right, so uh, usual thing here. Let's uh, let's just slab over a little bit of cobblestone here. Let's just slab this guy over. All right. So I can stand here later and get a bunch of cobblestone. I want to make a cobble gen. Yeah, and I'd like some magnet action here. All right, I'd like to get an actual uh, tiny progressions cobble gen, but the problem is I only have one bucket of water. Man, I am not getting any of this stuff. You're all... Well, maybe I am. All right, let's look here. 25. Right? Okay. All right, so, okay, that, so that works. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to make myself a furnace. Cool, we got a furnace. And, you know, furnace, you can go right there. And let's take some of this leftover wood. 
And I'm going to throw it in there. Do I have any more slabs? Yes, I do. And I'll throw in the slabs. Okay, we're going to make charcoal. Cool. All right, so we got a cobble gen. And so what I was thinking here was we could make the uh, tiny progressions cobble gen, right? I can make this guy right here, but that's going to eat my lava bucket and my water bucket. And the lava bucket I can't make yet, right? That's my only piece of lava. Uh, I don't see another method to get it done. Now, water, on the other hand, water we can get done. Let's see, right here, using this special crafting table, which I need to get redstone for. And I think I know how to do that, too. Yeah. So, let's see. Now that I've got this thing running, let's take the Seaback Generator. Right? If I put it right there. Yeah, you see how it's got temperature and RF. So, it's making power. And I put this guy right next to it. And I'm going to need to make, uh, I'm going to need to make an item frame, right? Here we go. Item frame. There we go. So now let's see, I can stick that on there. Let's make ourselves a couple of drawers. So here's some chests. Uh, I shouldn't have taken those out. All right, right there, right here. A couple of, of basic drawers. Got it. So I can throw a basic drawer on top of this guy. And then whatever I put here, which I'm going to put this, whatever I put in there will uh, get, uh, you know, generated. So <clears throat> can you make, yeah, just like that, you're going to use power. So it looks like it used 2000 RF to make a piece of uh, charcoal, right? And so I just need to make a bunch more trees. Not really a big deal there. All right, cool. That's totally going to work. Oh. Uh, could you guys not catch on fire, please? All right. I didn't think crafting tables caught on fire. Uh, live and learn. Let's see. So I'm just, I guess I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do that. Right. There we go. That way, hopefully I don't burn my platform down. All right. So that is basically done. Now, <clears throat> I want to get over there and I want to look at the progression system. So this is resource generation. Yeah, I already got three extra charcoal. Cool, and then I'll take, uh, I don't know, I'll take something here. I'll take, uh, yeah, we'll take cobblestone and smelt it to keep this guy going, to make more of those to keep this going. All right, so let's take a little bit of this wood that we have left. And, you know, I've got to set up a tree farm. Yeah, so a stack should get us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do not take the good tools with you. And I actually do want to make some torches. Do want to make some torches here. Right, because I've got a spawnable blocks right there. And, oh, while I'm thinking of it, yeah, while I'm thinking of it, can I hoe it up, right? Can I take a hoe? And can I bone meal? Do we have, uh, do I have shears only? Okay, I was just thinking of a thing. Can I do this? And, you know, is it possible? Oh, right there, to get myself a grass seed. And then I've got to choose at the moment, what do I want to do? Right? I've got to choose. I would like to make another bucket of water. But for the moment, I'm going to take this bucket of water. We'll put it back in this hole. That should allow me to hydrate this farmland. Yep, right there. And there we go. I'm going to plant my seed. And actually, you know what? It's been my best interest probably to bone meal this guy up. Right, and get another seed. There we go. Now I got a safety seed and a piece of wheat. So let's uh let's put all this good stuff back in here. I want to keep these things, but not the bucket. All right. So let's go across. And I'm gonna assume that this was the middle-ish. Let's go over to the island. Ooh. Planks and slabs. That's a deadly combination right there. Right? I am so going to fall off. All right. Got our uh, bridge built. Let's light it up here. Is it F4? Yep. Boy, I hope those aren't spawnable spaces. I don't know. 
All right, so this is the main island. It's got, uh, yeah, it's got all of the quests in it. I think this is the emergency chest. And then right over here, yeah, so here's the first quest. Give it a basic drawer, and you're going to get those things as reward. So I think everything operates with this chest right here. Right, so if I put that in there, do I get back... Do I get stuff back? Let's let's go look here. It took it, that's for sure. All right, it says it's complete. And come on, and there's my stuff right there. All right, cool. So now I've got all of this stuff. And really my goal for right now is make another bucket of water. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that thing out of the item frame. We're gonna take all of those out. I'm going to put redstone in there. Yep, and we're going to cook up something. What do I have to cook up? The rest of this wood? No, I don't want to cook up the rest of the wood. We'll make, uh, yeah, we'll do this. Right, so a little bit of power. Go ahead and make me some redstone. I really need, like, yeah, that right there. So I should have... Hello? There we go. Give me my eight... And we'll go right here. So I'm going to make this guy. And we'll put this one right around there. That gives me my powered crafting table. I should be able to put my powered crafting table in here. And where are my buckets? Right? So I will take... Yeah, I'm going to take this water out for a minute. Right? I'll take that water out. And I should be able to put both of these guys in here. And once it's got enough power, right, we'll look it up. Water, bucket, crafting table needs a 1,000 RF. So let's see. Forge energy, maybe? So we're almost there. We're almost there. 872. Come on. You just got to keep on smelting. Oh. oh, there they are, right there in my inventory. All right. So that gave me, that gave me nothing. Oh, it's because I left. Oh, it doesn't hold the inventory. All right, there we go. That gave me two buckets of water, just like that. So now I can make myself an infinite water source and keep my crops going, keep my cobble gen going. Actually, I don't even need that cobble gen now. I don't know. I got to think about it. I don't want to use the only bucket of lava that I have. But that is the beginning of this pack right here. That's the beginning of FTB's Pyramid. So I've got a lot of uh, configuration stuff left to do, and I'm going to grind trees and some basic resources, but I thought this looked awfully fun as a, uh, a mini-series, I guess, right? Make these things, have a little bit of fun, put out, uh, you know, a good video and something else new to see. So I'm 47Mark4, and I hope you enjoyed episode one. Uh, if you did, hey, drop me a like or a comment. I always look forward to hearing from you guys. And then I will see you in the next episode.